Good morning and welcome to the Cryptonimatron. Wherever you are, a very good morning, whether you're sitting taking your morning constitutional, you're sitting having a cup of coffee, you're going to hear my dulcet tones for the next 20 minutes waffling on about cryptocurrencies. So the first bit of news from this morning is Bitcoin futures trading gets the green light from US regulators. This is very important. It means now all these companies that said they were going to do it, they're going to start launching Bitcoin futures. Now, if you don't know what futures are, um, uh, at the risk of sounding repetitive, I'll explain again. They are basically a way of gambling on the future price of an asset, in this case, Bitcoin. So you will say, I think Bitcoin is going to be $150,000 in July 2018, for example. Um, you then buy the futures and you don't buy the actual asset and uh, you win or lose based on the, uh, the the price being higher or lower than your, uh, your gamble. As I also mentioned previously, um, the tulip mania in the 17th century that was uh, caused by the Dutch, uh, they caused it in part by launching um, tulip futures. So you can actually <laughs> gamble on the price of, of tulips. Interesting. Somebody in the comments the other day said that uh, tulip mania didn't happen. I don't know. I wasn't alive then, mate. Okay, uh, CME Group is going to launch their futures on December the 18th. So expect a big pump in Bitcoin up until that date. It'll be interesting to see um, what the... Um, uh, what, the, what the terms are around the, their futures. I'll bring that to you near the date when they eventually get going. Um, Aphelion ICO is running at the moment. They finished the pre-sale. It's sold out. If you don't know about Aphelion, they are trying to build a revolutionary, decentralized, peer-to-peer -peer exchange. So um, they're doing it on the Neo blockchain, which is interesting. It's one of the, only, the very few um, ICOs that have been launched on the Neo blockchain. I think in part due to the China FUD that happened a few months ago. There were a lot of Chinese ICOs that were gearing up to launch and they just basically got wiped out. And as I mentioned in my video yesterday or the day before, uh, NEO has suffered because of that. And, you know, because NEO, NEO is tied to China quite um, uh, quite heavily. So, you know, they need, NEO's a platform, it needs uh, dApps to be built on top of it. So if they can't do that, then, um, you know, if they, if they can't launch these ICOs, then there's no real incentive to do that. And of course, that's affecting NEO's growth at the moment. But this is built on the NEO blockchain, so it looks very interesting. It's still five days to go of this particular round, so you can still get in. Um, there will be uh, 220 million affiliates sold. Only 14% have been sold so far, which is a bit low. Um, they go into great detail why they chose NEO for this particular project. Obviously, it's faster, more programming language, uh, uh, etc. So it's uh, better for developers to use. And the roadmap, we're quarter four 2017 at the moment. So we're going through the ICO. Next year, they will start to actually launch the um, application and develop it further. Team looks quite strong. It looks like an interesting project and one to certainly keep an eye on for the future. Will I invest? Not sure at this stage. I don't like investing in white paper ICOs, which this is, uh, as they do not have a functioning um, product at the moment. So I may well just pass on this one. But, uh, you know, it's something to keep an eye on. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be these decentralized exchanges are going to be ubiquitous soon. So that's what we're going to be using to swap our cryptos. I don't think um, some of the centralized exchanges will survive. So again, keep an eye on it, guys. This isn't a review, of course. Um, I'm just uh, pointing out that the ICO is running. Uh, the other one that people were asking me to do a little uh, review on is Ripio Credit Network. Now, if you don't know what this is, it's a peer-to-peer a -peer credit network where you can borrow or lend money over the blockchain in your RCN tokens. So if you need to borrow money, you will be vetted. They will check you out. They'll give you a credit score, much like if you're borrowing money from a bank. And then you will get your certain criteria for the loan, depending on how much you want to borrow and your risk. And the lender will also set parameters for his lending, how much he can lend, who he wants to lend it to, you know, etc., etc. And if the two fit, over the blockchain, they will be put together and the um, loan, in effect, will be 
provided in RCN or Ripio Credit Network Token. So interesting uh, concept. I'm not too into lending uh, um, coins or uh, financial coins, to be honest. I, I like real world uses. This is interesting though it's got a lot of hype on uh, on the internet it's always there's loads of bag holders of this waiting for it to pump hasn't really done anything yet um token sale only ended last october so it's a pretty new coin they are looking <clears throat> excuse me they are looking to um uh, implement advanced smart contracts and the sdk implementation is coming this month and it will go live in april 2018 so this will be a few months hold before we actually see any real significant value in this one i think so it might be a good time to get in and pick it up before any any uh, of the news stories start coming out and it starts to build up a, a head of steam i believe they're based in argentina in buenos aires so that's interesting as well and um, they have tim draper is an investor if you don't know him he's a um uh, investor in Bitcoin, he's made a, a few hundreds of thousands of, or hundreds of millions of dollars out of Bitcoin, and the team seems strong. Partnerships are strong. Um, yeah, they 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 look like an interesting project. So I'll be keeping an eye on them and just having a quick look at their social media. It seems quite muted. There doesn't seem to be much activity, especially on their Reddit. Uh, their Twitter is slightly better. They've just announced that they are uh, partnership with Biocoin. Um, to assist green businesses worldwide. So that will be interesting to see what the, uh, they can achieve there. And um, moving on to CoinMarketCap, uh, let's have a look at RCN. See what it's up to. Yeah, it's still around 12 cents. So it's, uh, it's still not at ICO price. Um, it has doubled since hitting the exchanges, but it's still, I would say, a bit of a bargain at this price at the moment. Circulating supply of just under half a billion and market cap of just under 60 million. So there's quite a lot of potential for this. It's a very low market cap for a project of this magnitude. So we could see this grow quite substantially, maybe even three, four times. And that is obviously only going to happen as we get nearer to any um developments launch time new uh, implement implementation that type of thing so keep an eye out on the news it might be time to dip in and pick some up i don't hold any of this at the moment um i'm thinking maybe to dip in for a small position before it starts to uh, go higher so as al as always guys i'm not a financial advisor this is not financial advice do your own due diligence, do your own research and invest wisely and invest cautiously. Okay, so that's it for today. Just a very quick video to uh, to look at those two little projects and um, mention Bitcoin futures. If you want me to review anything, please put it in the uh, comments below. Uh, like and subscribe. Let's build the community here, guys, so I can bring you more content. And... Uh, one thing I do want to say before I, I, I log off today is um, I don't do any paid reviews. I don't do any paid um, videos at all. I, I only give you my opinion and it's unbiased, completely unbiased and it's completely neutral. So I won't, I notice there are other YouTubers now, ones that I have previously followed and respected and they've started doing paid reviews, which I completely disagree with. How can you watch a paid review and get a balanced judgment on the you know for your investment you simply can't you know the the, the page review will always favor the, uh, the the what they're reviewing simply because they're getting paid for it you know so i don't do page reviews guys it's one thing i want to make perfectly clear and i will not do page reviews in the future so um, you can watch my channel all of the reviews i do on anything whether it's a token an ico whatever will always be completely unbiased Okay, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.